From now on, we're doing things my way. Love stories in WWE are quite common, but sometimes the pairings are just too odd to process. I mean, exactly why is Dominic falling around Rhea Ripley? Any explanation? Anyways, I'm Jeremy, and here are five odd pairings within the WWE. Number five, Edge and Vicky Guerrero. The rated R superstar got into a relationship with the general manager of SmackDown, Vicky Guerrero, in 2007, and many felt that this was just to keep his World Heavyweight Championship safe. Every time Edge would nearly lose the title, Vicky would abuse her power and make sure that the championship would remain on the ultimate opportunist. The couple was about to get married on the July 18th of 2008 edition of SmackDown, but Triple H interrupted the in-ring wedding and revealed that Edge was having an affair with the wedding planner Alicia Fox. This enraged Vicky and she booked Edge into a Hell in a Cell match against none other than The Undertaker at SummerSlam in 2008. Yet their romantic story storyline continued as she included the ultimate opportunist in the WWE Championship match at Survivor Series that included Triple H and Vladimir Kozlov. Just like Edge did, Guerrero was also caught having a secret affair, but that didn't break the record for some reason. All the romantic drama finally concluded following WrestleMania at 25 as Vicky was drafted to Raw to become the new general manager of the Red Brand. Number 4, Carmella and James Ellsworth. After his brief feud with AJ Styles, Chen's McMahon Ellsworth was paired with Carmella on SmackDown. It all started with the December 20th, 2016 episode of SmackDown, where Carmella confronted Ellsworth following a match with Styles. After this, all he ever wanted was to impress the Princess of Staten Island, which included interfering in matches to make her sure that Carmella would win. Although the random pairing didn't make sense to WWE fans, they were barely bothered with the booking of the two. This changed to legit when James Ellsworth interrupted and became the first person to unhook the contract in the historic first ever women's money in the bank ladder match. The two were together for a few months till Carmella turned on Ellsworth following his defeat at the hands of Becky Lynch. Within a year, he would again side with Carmella, who was already SmackDown Women's Champion, but by that time, thankfully, the pairing had also did not last for long. Number three, Mark Henry and Mae Young. WWE has many strange storylines past, but nothing comes to the bizarreness of the romantic drama between Mae Young and Mark Henry. In 1999, Henry was reintroduced as Sexual Chocolate, a ladies' man attempting to woo the female WWE superstars. And obviously, that included the WWE veteran, Mae Young. 29-year-old Mark Henry dating 77-year-old Mae Young was already an absurd story. But then, WWE creative decided to take this angle up a notch by revealing that Young was pregnant on the February 28th, 2000 edition of Monday Night Raw. While Henry and others stood by her bedside, yes, you heard it right, Mae Young gave birth to a hand. Although her relationship came to an abrupt ending following weeks, it was still unclear why or what Vince McMahon believed the storyline was a good idea, but hey, here it is for WWE programming. Number two, Beth Phoenix and Santina Morella. In 2008, Beth Phoenix was one of the most dominant women in WWE, while Santina Morella was a comedic character. Despite being polar opposites, WWE decided to pair them together, and it ended up being one of the most entertaining acts at the time. It all started when the Glamazon responded to an open challenge from Santino and managed to defeat him. Although it seemed unusual that Beth would fall for Santino, the dynamic between the two worked, and they gave some hilarious segments on Monday Night Raw. The couple simultaneously held the Intercontinental Championship and Women's Championship following SummerSlam and dominantly reigned over the red brand. After WrestleMania 25, the relationship between the two started to deteriorate. That is because Santino eliminated Beth in the 25 women, quote, Miss WrestleMania Battle Royal, posing as Santina Morella, Santino's twin sister. Phoenix got into the feud with Santina and basically stealing her limelight at the show of shows, which resulted in the eventual end of the couple's love story. Number one, The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. In 2020, WWE decided to pair 
Fire, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Alexa Bliss, and it was unorthodox to say the least. On the July 31st, 2020 episode of SmackDown, The Fiend attacked Alexa Bliss during the feud with Braun Strowman. In the weeks that followed, she slowly turned to the dark side, joining forces with Bray. They soon were moved to Raw, where Wyatt would start a feud with Randy Orton. After the Viper burned The Fiend alive in a Firefly Inferno match at TLC, Bray took some time off and Bliss started tormenting Orton with her sudden supernatural powers. She even had a match with the Apex Predator at Fastlane in 2021, which she won, owning to an interference from The Fiend. At WrestleMania 37, Alexa distracted Wyatt, allowing Orton enough time to deliver an RKO and win the match. Almost no explanations were given as to why Bliss and Wyatt were together or why they had parted ways, and this is still regarded as one of the most controversial bookings in WWE history. And that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, do share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel, Sports Key to Wrestling, for more content like this.